As I said, a function, meanwhile, is a specific kind of relation. It's a relation where every time we put in one thing, we only get exactly one thing out. I think maybe unique, that's a special kind of function that we'll talk about later. You may have other properties for what sort of thing goes on with the values, but broadly, a function is a, is a relation, a connection between potential elements, potential sets, potential things, where for every one in the domain, it only corresponds to one single thing in the range. One goes in, one comes out. So for example, that relation we had in the last case, we we're talking about tuition costs and the schools that they correspond to, we would have that that defines a, a simple, not very mathematical function as what we had there was a single in-state tuition cost from that data corresponding to each of the schools. For example, FGCU didn't both cost, what was the thing there, $61.18 for in-state tuition and also $63.18 for tuition. There was only the one price there at least in terms of the information I had. So that works as a function where to keep building this idea, we're going to take a few more loose examples to understand what is and isn't a function strictly in terms of the ordered pairs defined in the relation. So for this example, we want to determine whether the following relations could define functions, where our first relation is triangle 3, rectangle 4, pentagon 5, hexagon 6. Our second <clears throat> is 1, 4, 2, 4, 3, 4, 4, 4. And our third is 1, 2, 3, 5, 1, 5, 2, 3. So the first case we're looking at there, it's, it's not quite what we're used to for a function. As we're going further, we're going to see this more in the context of equations and mathematical relations, as it were. But that is still a function because each of those words, in particular those shapes, only corresponds to a single number, where you can think of that number as being like the number of sides or the number of vertices, if you prefer. But for that first case, for that first example, that one is a function as defined because there's one input going to only one output. In the second case, even though our outputs aren't very interesting, each input only gives one. So that would still be a function. And in particular, if we want to think about what kind of function that might be, that's a pretty constant function, which might come from a constant equation. And I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself, but hopefully you have some sense of what that should look and act like when we get a bit more numerical. Then finally, for our third case, we can see there that even though each of the things in the output is, well, they're not all unique, actually. There's the 1 through 5 and a 3, 5. But more importantly, because the element 1 in the domain on that first coordinate, the left part there, is supposed to go to both 2 and 5, this is not a function. Again, the defining characteristic of a function is each input only goes to one output, and we are reading left to right. One does not only go to a single output, it goes to two, and that's enough to lose what we're talking about. But this isn't really what we're here for, and we're not here for these very loose things. We want to actually define and mess with some real functions, real equations, things that we probably have a bit more familiarity with and that we're going to be spending a lot more time on as this class goes forward. And now that we at least have a rough outline of what functions and relations are, we're going to start talking about the connections between functions and equations.